Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. I do have a Leo and Virgo only channel, and then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. All those links are below. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway. Just post a positive affirmation or something that you are grateful for in the comment section below with a green heart to enter to win a free reading with me. Winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. Um, if you're interested in booking a reading with me or checking out my tarot and oracle decks or checking out my tarot tutorial, all that info is below. What am I grateful for my loves? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, all your love, support, positive comments. Thank you for any super chats that are being sent. Um, I'm grateful for my puppies, my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. All right, my babies, we're going to start this reading off with a butterfly blessing. This is one of my decks. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies. What blessings are coming towards cancer? What blessings? Okay, so we've got a dark night of the soul comes, and this blessing closes a cycle. Soul searching, closure, um, facing shadow side. Under the deck, we've got a loved one has toxic addictions. The blessing lies in not destroying yourself to save them, enabling and being used. So Cancer, some of you could be coming into this energy where you may, um, it may feel like you're going into a depression of sorts. You want to feel, you want to be alone. You're starting to ask yourself that question of, um, it, it, the, the way you know you're coming into a dark night of the soul is when you stop looking at other people, accusing other people, or blaming other people, and you start looking at yourself. You start saying, what is wrong with me? What am I doing wrong? What do I need to heal? What work do I need to do? That is is how you ultimately know that you are starting to face your shadow. Now, some of you could be coming out of this cycle or some of you could be coming into the cycle. But I feel like during this dark night of the soul is when you're going to realize and accept somebody for who and what they are. There is someone here that could have drug addictions, drinking addictions, cheating addictions, sexual addictions, uh, bad toxic behavior patterns, habits, okay, anger issues. Um, the key here is understanding that you can't control other people. You could only control yourself and your own actions. And you have got to stop allowing um people to use you or enabling this bad behavior because you feel like that's the only way people that have toxic addictions are broken. Let's put it out there. Okay. If you're an empath and especially as a cancer, you know, between your intuitive side and your empathic side, you're going to want to do everything that you can to make someone like this feel loved, feel like they are worth healing. Okay. Like you're, 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 it's going to be a compulsive thing on your part where you have this overwhelming need to show someone that they're worthy of love. They're worthy of healing their life that, you know, um, that you're not going to abandon them, that you're not going to, uh, but what spirit is saying is you're losing yourself here. You're destroying yourself, trying to save them. And, you know, this could be your kid's cancer. It could be friend. It could be family. It could be romantic interest. Um, so this is you needing to accept that sometimes you just have to accept the situation for what it is. All right. Okay. So let's see what we have here. We're going to go ahead and use Raven's Rose Oracle. This is also one of my decks. Spirit, what messages do we have here today for my cancer babies, please? Messages for my cancer babies, please. Okay, so we've got transform. We've got summer. Oh, my nose is itchy. Someone may be showing up to your house. I think that that means showing, someone showing up to the house. We've got loyalty and shady. Apology under the deck. 
Okay. And then we've got codependent, reckless, tired, and divine masculine. Okay. So, Cancer, here's what's going on. Okay. This per the person that we're dealing with could potentially be a Gemini, Cancer, or a Leo. Your anniversary with this person could be in the summer. Or something happened in the summertime with this person where a change happened. Something happened in their life where they're deciding that they want to change their life. They want to mature. They want to grow. They want to change. Um, and this person wants to come in and talk to you. What they want to tell you is with codependent and reckless and apology here, Cancer, they want to apologize because when they were getting high or when they were drunk or when they were, you know, addicted to whatever toxic behavioral trait they had, they know that they were very reckless with your heart, with your time, with your love, with your money. They were very reckless. Okay. Um, I do feel like this apology is going to hit different or feel different. Okay. It will. Now, what I'm honestly feeling here, Cancer, is that you may have pulled back your energy because you've been in a dark night of the soul and you didn't even know that you were in one. You may have pulled back your energy from this person and by doing so, you gave them the space to figure out what it is that, you know, they need to do with their own life. And this is why it's so important to understand that when you enable people to do things, you are not helping them. When someone is mistreating you in a relationship and you continue to forgive, you are not helping that person and you are not helping yourself. You're not. Okay. If you forgive and there's changed behavior, great. But if you forgive and the same thing keeps happening, you are not helping or assisting that person to grow. You're not. And, and, you know, I think that you finally reached a point that maybe you removed your energy to the point that this person had to go it alone, see what life was like without you and make decisions for their own life. This is not someone that is coming back into your life because they just want you back. That is, that's not the type of conversation this is. This is the type of conversation where someone is saying, this is what I want for my life. I want to change. I want to grow. Cancer, I'm sorry. And you have been there through my worst times and I'm, I'm deciding to do better with my life. I'm deciding to change. And I would like for you to be there by my side while I go on this positive pathway. I feel like you deserve to be be there in my life when I'm doing good, when I'm going through this transformation. I understand if you don't want to. I understand with Shady here, if you see me as someone that's trifling, someone that's not uh, to be trusted, you may think I'm always up to something. I do understand that. I do feel like Cancer, this is not somebody that is coming towards you pushy. The, this person's not going to be pushy. And, and above all else, they don't expect reconciliation from you. They don't expect you to jump into their arms and pretend that nothing happened. They're not expecting that from you. This person is understanding that loyalty is earned, not given. Okay. Respect is earned, not given. This is someone that wants to show you I'm putting all the bullshit to the side and I want to be a better person. I want to show you that I have the ability to be loyal, to be good, okay? This is a masculine energy that is tired. It is, ex they are exhausted, okay? The way they've been living their life has become complicated. It has become heavy. And this is someone that is now with this transform card and this divine masculine card, Cancer, they are ready to grow the fuck up. And they're coming towards you because you have really given and helped them through their darkest days. You really were. You were there for them. 
Have you ever seen celebrities that, you know, they hit it really big and they call their ex-girlfriends or their ex-boyfriends and they, they go towards the people that have known them when they were down and out and they had nothing, you know, and that's kind of the same vibe that I'm getting here. This person is like, I'm on a path to do better in my life. And what I don't want to do is go down this path, do better, get a job, become a better person, and then just go find some random chick or some random dude, get with them and forget all about you. I, I'm, I want you to know that I'm giving you the opportunity um, to, you know, be my friend maybe during this time of transformation and if you see that my actions match my words and you see that I am becoming a better man or a better woman, maybe we could give it another go. But what I don't want to do is become a better person and leave you behind when you have been there for me through thick and thin. If you decide that you don't want to be with me, if you decide that you hate me, you want nothing to do with me, Oh, you're entitled to that. I can't fight that. I was a piece of shit. Okay. You know, this person is saying I was very reckless, you know, when I was high or uncaring or just, you know, mad, angry, whatever, you know, I didn't give a fuck about anyone but myself. I know I hurt you a lot and I, you don't have to stick around, but you deserve the respect of me giving you that opportunity to be by my side while I become a better man or while I become a better woman. I'm not asking you to do anything for me. I'm not asking you to do a fucking thing for me. All I want you to do is just be there and watch my growth. L watch me turn into the man you've always wanted to see me be. Watch me turn into the woman you've always wanted to see me be. And once you realize that I am serious about going down the right path in life, maybe, maybe we can try again. Because if I'm going to get myself into a relationship or be with somebody when I'm doing well in life, I would rather it be with the person that had my back through thick and thin versus just, you know, being with some random person, right? So that's, the, this apology is just going to hit very different cancer, what messages do we have here for my cancer babies? Eight of wands, very long conversation taking place here, cancer. A very long conversation is about to take place here. The nine of swords, I this conversation may happen late at night. There's good... There's going to be, you know, maybe crying here. There's going to be a lot of emotions from the past that are brought up. Six of Cups and the Seven of Swords with the King of Swords. Cancer, this person may even come towards you with confessions of shit that you didn't even know about. Okay. This person may open up and be so honest that you're kind of like, dude, I really didn't need to hear none of this. <laughs> like, you know, I, I really didn't need to hear this. Um, the Knight of wands here. Yeah. This person may tell you like, listen, I was a real piece of shit. You know, I stole money from you. I cheated on you. I fucked someone on your bed. I, you know, this person is really going to go all out with telling you how disgusting they are and how disgusted they are with themselves for doing that to somebody. And ultimately, with the death card and the four of cups here, what this person is saying, Cancer, is I don't want to be this way anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to hurt the people that I love and care about. I don't want to hurt the people that are there for me. I don't want to be a total and complete scumbag. If this person is addicted to drugs or drinking or has some type of addictions, they're saying, I'm tired of this shit ruining my life and hurting the people that I love and care about. And, and this may be one of the reasons why this apology hits so different cancer, because this person is going to be brutally, and I mean brutally honest about the shit that they've done. Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So Cancer, what this person is going to tell you is, listen, I'm getting my life together. The Three of Pentacles talks about building that solid foundation, doing, you know, putting work into something and wanting it to be successful. And this person's going to tell you, Cancer, I know I have my work cut out for me with the Ten of Wands. I know I do. I know this is not going to be easy. 
with the five of wands here, the lover's card and the 10 of swords cancer, this is someone that has hurt a lot of people. They have hurt a lot of people, uh, whether it's on a romantic level, friendship level, whatever the case may be. Um, this is someone that's sitting in a place where they want to try to make amends with their family, their siblings, you know, baby mamas, baby daddies. They, they want to make it right. So this person is really on one hell of a journey here, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Cups here with the Magician, what this person wants to do is better themselves, heal the mistakes that they've made, heal themselves, and then the future that they see for themselves is a Ten of Pentacles, a Ten of Cups, and a Hierophant future, which means they want long-term financial security, they want long-term emotional fulfillment, they want marriage, they want commitment, they want tradition, they want monogamy. The magician here talks about, uh, it doesn't always just talk about magic or manipulation. The magician can also talk about, you know, bringing everything to the table. This magician has all four suits on his table. He has the pentacle, the cup, the wand, the sword. So this is honesty, action, movement. This is love. This is kindness, compassion, empathy. Um, this is, you know, bringing financial assistance, stability, loyalty, commitment, passion, communication, you know, uh, doing things not because they have to do them, but because they want to do them. This is an individual that is ready to go all in. Okay. They're ready to go all in. We've got the King of Wands here. We've got the Nine of Cups and the Empress with the Four of Wands. Um, Cancer, there may be a slight age difference between you and this person. There may be a slight age difference. So you're sitting in Empress energy and I feel like Cancer, this is someone that is going on a path to become their, this emperor, okay? Because we've got divine masculine here, right? They, they are at the King of Wands. They're at the King of Swords. They have two kings left the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles before they could reach this Emperor energy. So they're on their journey. They're on their journey. And I do think that Cancer, this person, you know, wants to make you happy. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be the wife. You deserve to be the husband. You deserve to be the baby mama, the baby daddy. You deserve to be married. You deserve their love, their loyalty, their commitment, their vows. You are the one that is deserving of these things. If you don't want them, that's fine. They're obviously not going to force you. But with the Ace of Swords and bam, baby, the King of Cups, okay? Now we've got one king left, the King of Pentacles. This person is honest. You know, they're going to take action and show you. They love you. They want you. They're trying to be honest with you, okay? Um, they're, they're on their journey here. And look at this. We've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor with the Two of Cups. So Cancer and the Knight of Pentacles. This person knows that it's not going to happen overnight. They're not stupid. They know it's going to take some time. They've got, we've got one uh, king here, that the king of pentacles, but they're working on it. They want to be the emperor. They want to be the man or the woman that you need them to be. They love you. They want to make this work. Now, whether, again, whether you want to take it or not, it is on you. So we're going to take it into the extended cancer and we're just going to make it simple. Two readings. If you stay by this person's side, will you regret it? Will you be wasting your time? Will this end, you know, because they, they have this vision for themselves. Will they be strong enough to put their money where their mouth is and maintain that vision? And cancer, if you decide to tell this person to go fuck themselves, you know, this person is still going to go down the path that they're going down. Will you regret not giving this a chance? Because it may take, let's say, you know, I don't know, two years for this person to get it together. They meet someone new. Now they're getting married. They're cleaned up. They have their own business. They have everything. 
What is that going to feel like for you? That you did all of this shit for this person and they came to you, they tried to reconcile, you told them to go fuck themselves and now it's two years later and you know, maybe you're still single or whatever and you're watching this person on their feet, they have a business, they look healthy, they're clean, they have a, a, a wife, they've got kids. How is that going to feel for you? Are you going to regret not staying by this person's side? You know, um, so let's take a look at that in the extended. The link is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you all so very much and I will see you there. Take care, my loves.